The Syrian government is demanding that the United States Nations Security Council impose deterring sanctions on Israel for what they said were two attacks by Israeli warplanes yesterday on targets in Damascus and the border with Lebanon. Israel is not officially commenting on the reports. We get more from IBA's Ariel Sullivan. This is the only footage which purports to show the attack, a rare daylight raid, according to reports from Syria. Israeli warplanes reportedly struck two targets and a total of 10 sorties. Syria says two military installations were damaged, one near the international airport in Damascus and the other in the town of Dimas near the Lebanese border. Syrian anti-aircraft batteries fired two missiles at the attacking planes but failed to intercept. State-run Syrian TV initially put out a laconic statement blaming Israel for the aggressive attack in which there were no reported injuries. The Syrian army put out a more detailed statement linking the attack to the civil war, saying it was in the framework of extending help and support to the armed terrorist groups in Syria. The Syrian foreign ministry said it would seek from the UN Security Council deterring sanctions against Israel for its attack. This is not the first time that Israel has attacked Syria, according to foreign reports. In May 2013, Israel attacked targets near Jumraya, and the destruction couldn't be hidden. This time, like the previous ones, the apparent targets were weapon warehouses aimed for Hezbollah. Reports in Lebanon say the targets were S-300, sophisticated anti-aircraft missiles that had recently arrived from Russia. These rockets would pose a serious threat to Israel's aerial supremacy. If the reports are true, it appears that the defense establishment is continuing with its same defense line regardless of the internal turmoil in Syria. While Israel has made an official no comment on the strike, it has announced in the past three red lines that it would not tolerate. The first is any action against Israel on the Golan Heights. The second is any attempt to transfer sophisticated missiles and chemical weapons outside of Syria. And the third is transfer of strategic balance changing weaponry to Hezbollah. Also, it comes as the world no longer is supporting the toppling of Assad and actually attacking his enemy, ISIS. So Assad has good reason to refrain from responding to the Israeli strike for now. Ariel O'Sullivan, 5 News.